we all know analyzing the markets with open interest data can be confusing what if i told you sensible has tools that can help you with that hello and welcome to this platform demo video by sensible where we will look at some of the best features available within sensible that can help you trade in this video i'll show you a complete walk through of sensible's option chain open interest page and multi strike oi please keep this in mind that this is not a video showing how to trade using open interest but a video that gives you a complete walk through of all these features if you want to learn how to trade using open interest data please refer to this video right here and we suggest you watch this video first and come back to this video so that you can take full advantage of the tools in the platform without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video the first feature i will show you is one of the most popular feature of sensible the option chain As you see our option chain is very different from what is available in NSE. It has various features and highly customizable and you can also take trades directly from option chain. Let me walk you through each of these features on option chain. To change the underlying you wish to see on the option chain you need to click on the search button and enter the name of the script or underlying you wish to see and it will bring up the full option chain of that script. You can also see the chart of that underlying by clicking on this chart icon near the underlying name. Also you can click on this info box to see the details such as future oi change available expiries future price lot size atm iv pcr max pain and much more by default our option chain shows you these five columns the strike column shows you all the available contracts iv column shows you the iv value of each contract ltp and the change in ltp in percentage The percentage change shows you how the last traded price has changed since the previous day close. OI shows the total open interest in lakhs. The OI column also shows you the total open interest as bar. The calls are represented in the red color and the puts are represented in the green color. This is because we usually consider calls as resistances and puts as supports. So by seeing this option chain i can say that 18400 500 and 600 are these strong resistances in the market and 18300 is a good support oi change percentage shows you the oi change from yesterday's market close in terms of percentage and on the top you will be able to see the atm iv of that underlying and the current india vix price the button to the iv chart the analyze oi page the per lot toggle and the expiry selector you can enable the per lot toggle to see the prices and greeks multiplied by lot size and use the expiry selector to switch to the expiry you wish to see the option chain for to add the other columns on the option chain which is not available on the default view you just have to click on the settings button here from here you can modify the option chain according to your preference you can add more columns or change the general look and feel of the option chain from here by default your option chain shows you 30 strikes plus and minus from atm you can increase it up to 40 To add more columns to the option chain you just have to enable the toggle associated with the data you want to see. For this example, let's add some Greeks to the option chain. For that, let's enable the toggle near delta and theta. As you see, this instantly added the selected Greeks to the option chain. You can add more columns like volume, OI change, bid offer and Greeks for free. The option chain also has some premium features such as per strike PCR where PCR means put call ratio is shown for each strikes individually this helps understanding whether the market sentiments for a strike is bullish or bearish time value shows you the time value of that option contract intrinsic value this shows you how much the option will be worth if the underlying will expire right here probability of profit it tells you the chances of making money if you buy a strike Trading from option chain is very easy. You just have to go to the strike you wish to trade and click on the buy or sell button there. When you do that, you can see the strike has been selected and you can either trade multiple strikes at the same time or just trade a single strike. In order to trade, you just have to click on the trade button and the basket order page opens up from here. From here, you can place your orders. You might have also noticed some other buttons where I have showed you the trade button. Let me explain you what are those for. Starting off with the virtual trade button. When you click on the virtual trade button, you will be able to add that particular leg or strategy to the virtual trade portfolio of your choice. This comes very handy especially when you might need more conviction to take a trade, but you would still like to see what would have happened to that trade if you have chosen to take it. 
Also, it can be used just to keep track of your trades. Next up is Analyze button. The Analyze button brings the power of strategy builder right in the option chain. From here, you will be able to analyze your strategy with ease. Just like in the builder, you can add the underlying value and the days left to expiry to see what will happen to your strategy. And you'll be able to see those changes live on the payoff graph. The analyze window also shows you important data like PNL table, Greek and the strategy charts just like how you see in the builder. You can also take this strategy to analyze it in the builder. To learn more about these features and to check out how to use builder, watch this video right here where we have explained the features of builder in detail. You can see more data about a single strike also. You can set alerts and add it to the sensible watch list all from the option chain. To do this, all you have to do is go to the strike you want to set alert or see more details of. Click on this downwards facing arrow. As you see, this opens up a new window in which you can see the open, high, low, close of that particular strike and the best three bids offer of that strike. You can also see probability of that trade if you were to take it for buy and sell. You can set the alerts and add it to your watch list from here. Setting alerts is especially helpful as you will be able to get the real time price alerts directly to your WhatsApp so that you don't have to spend time monitoring price all day. This concludes all the features available inside the option chain. Next up is the open interest page in Sensible. The open interest page in Sensible shows you a better representation of open interest to help you trade better. Let's see how it does that. You can access the open interest page in two ways. If you are coming from option chain page, you can click on the analyze OI button on the top of the option chain right here. Or if you are in Sensible's homepage, you can click on the analyze button and in the menu bar, click on the open interest to open this page. From here, you will be able to see a wide range of information related to open interest data. Let me walk you through the features. Also, if you wish to learn how to trade with this data, please click on this video right here. If you want to change the underlying you wish to see in the open interest view, you can do so by clicking on the search button here and entering the name of the script or underlying for which you wish to see the open interest analysis of. For this example, let's go with Nifty. The open interest page has three parts. First, the OI chain chart. The OI chain chart is further divided into two sections, the interday chart and the intraday chart. Second part of open interest page is total open interest chart. Third is the option OI versus time chart. And finally, the future OI versus time chart. Let's look at the OI chain chart first. To switch between the interday and intraday OI, you must select which chart you want to see from the drop down menu right here. Let's look at the intraday OI first. The intraday OI chart shows you a complete strike wise breakdown of open interest change for an intraday time frame. You can adjust these sliders here to view how the open interest has changed as the time goes by. You can also set the open interest to update automatically on the intraday time frame. At the bottom of the chart, you will be able to see the total call OI change and put OI change and the future price. This helps you understand how the OI has changed between two time frames you have selected. Now let's look at the interday OI. The interday OI is nothing but an extension of intraday OI. While in the intraday OI, you see the OI change between two time frames within the same day. In interday OI, you see the change in OI between two days. You can change the days you want to see the OI by adjusting these toggles right here. And just like in intraday OI, you will be able to see the total call OI change, put OI change and the future prices of both days here. The next chart is the total open interest chart. This chart is fairly simple and easy to understand. This chart shows you the current total outstanding open interest broken down by strikes of the underlying. You can go back and look at the historical outstanding OI by changing the dates here. Right under the chart, you can see the valuable information such as the total outstanding call OI, the total outstanding put OI, the PCR and the current nifty futures value. The next chart is the option OI versus time. Using this chart, you will be able to track how the total outstanding has changed on a per week basis. This chart also shows you how the underlying has moved in the same time frame as well as the PCR. You can also go back to the previous week's OI versus time chart by using these toggles right here. 
This brings us to the last chart that is available on this page, which is future OI versus time chart. Using this chart, you can keep track of how future OI has changed with respect to the time. The chart also shows you how the underlying has moved throughout the time frame. Here, if price is going up and future OI is also going up, this is called bullish buildup or long buildup. This means people are expecting markets to go up. If price is going down and future OI is also going down, this is called long booking or long unwinding. This means people are booking their long positions. If price is going down and future OI is going up, this is called short buildup. And this means people are expecting the markets to go down. And if price is going up and future OI is going down, this is called short covering means people are booking their short positions. This chart shows you the details on month on month basis and to see the previous month's OI, you can simply use this toggle. You might also have noticed a few more buttons on the left panel. Let me explain you what are those. By default, the open interspace shows you the OI data for the current week. In the case of indices, you can change it to the monthly using these toggles here. Also by default, the open interest view shows you data for the current expiry only and does not show for the next expiry. By using these checkbox, you can choose to either use the data from both expiries or view the data from the current or the next expiry. This concludes all the features available on the open interest page. Next is the last feature in this platform demo video, which is multi strike OI page. The multi strike OI page is nothing but a line representation of OI. This is especially useful when you are trading intraday and need to keep track of multiple open interest at the same time. Let's explore this feature. As always, to change the underlying, you just have to click on this search button right here and enter the name of underlying you wish to trade in. Here by default, you will see the most active strike are automatically selected. Tracking this view lets you spot unwinding, position shifts and build up in the OI faster. You can also make custom groups by clicking on this button. This opens up a panel which is similar to the one you see in the builder from where you can pick your strikes. Here all the calls are in the shade of red and the puts are in the shade of green. So if red line is going up here, you can say that call OI is going up and an increase in call OI means markets may not go up. And if green line is going up, then we can say put OI is increasing and an increase in put OI means markets may not go down. You can notice it here when market started going down, the call OI in the shade of red started going up and the put OI in the shade of green started going down. Even when market opened gap up today, the call OI was not going down and started increasing. That indicated the market may not go up and the market did go down. One more point to note here is at the end of the day, the OI numbers will go down. That's because people are closing their intraday positions. Now let's see how to switch between time frames on multi strike OI. On the top of the multi strike OI chart, you can see various intervals. You can switch between the intervals you want to use by simply clicking on the desired interval. You might have also noticed that we show the spot value along with OI as the black line. If you are someone who wish to use the futures price instead of the spot, you can switch to the futures price as an underlying by clicking here. You can also view the multi strike OI in an entire time frame by enabling this particular toggle right here. This gives you a detailed view on how open interest has changed for these strikes on an intraday basis. And that concludes this feature demo video by Sensible. We hope you got a complete understanding of how these features work. If you need any help, please reach out to help at the rate sensible.com or drop us a chat and we will be more than happy to assist you. We hope you enjoyed this product demo session by Sensible. We will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and we wish you safe and happy trading with Sensible. Bye-bye.